In this video, we're talking about the difference between presume and assume. Presume means to make an informed guess based upon reasonable evidence. Assume means to make a guess based on little or no evidence. So we use these words differently depending upon how much evidence we have about our assumption or presumption. So we can look at this like a bit of a Venn diagram. Presume and assume both involve making a guess about something. But on the left hand side, if we presume we have some evidence, whereas on the right hand side, if we assume we have little to no evidence about something. Now I wanna give you a few examples so you can see how they're used in a sentence. But I wanna quickly say, if you don't know the difference between little words like this and you always feel a bit uncomfortable about which word to use, I strongly recommend to all of my students, just download Grammarly. You can use the free version. There's a link just below in the description. Use one of the two words and Grammarly will help you to correct it to make sure that you've got the right word when you submit your essay or you write your email or whatever you're writing. So let's look at some examples of presume. So. You might say, based upon what you're wearing today, I presume you are going to a job interview. Now, we're presuming something here because we've got some evidence. We can see that someone's wearing, they might be wearing a suit, for example. So we're making a presumption based upon a little bit of evidence. It's an informed guess. Here's another one. I presume she said yes to your marriage proposal because you are very happy. So we're making a presumption because we have a little bit of evidence that we're working off. We can see that he's very happy and he just proposed to someone. So we've got to presume that she said yes to him. Okay, here are some examples of assume. So we might say, you assumed that I was not listening, but you were incorrect. So someone made a wrong assumption because they didn't have any information to base it on. Here's another one. I assume she got my letter, but I didn't get a reply. Here, we've got no evidence about whether or not she got the letter because we didn't get a reply. So we can only assume it. We can't presume it because we haven't got enough evidence to presume something. Now, one thing I would say is generally we use these two words very similarly in practice in the English language. So no one's gonna think you're a bit weird for using presume instead of assume. We can generally use them both in the same context because most people really don't know the difference. So that brings us to the end of this video. Don't forget if you haven't got Grammarly, get that link below and download the free version of Grammarly and it'll really help with your writing. And if you're a college, university or high school student, like and subscribe and you'll get all of our updates on new videos to help you write better essays.